Hey everybody, Mark here at the Hall of Flame Museum of Firefighting, and we are an international collection here at the Hall of Flame. We have stuff from all over the world, but when it comes to sports, we're a bunch of homers. We love our hometown teams, and we are so thrilled that our beloved Arizona Diamondbacks are in the World Series. So we want to talk a little bit today about the connection between the history of baseball and the history of firefighting. The connection between, in this country especially, between baseball and firefighters, it goes all the way back. Now, baseball, it goes all the way back to England. It's around in the 1700s. But in America, the first recorded baseball game was in 1846. That's why I'm standing here, because this is from the 1840s. This is an 1844 rig. And, but the first recorded baseball game took place in Hoboken, New Jersey in 1846. And the one team, the uh, guys from New York, were the New York Knickerbocker Baseball Club. And one of the guys who founded that club was a guy named Alexander Joy Cartwright Jr. And uh, Mr. Cartwright is sometimes called the father of baseball. Now there are people that dispute whether you should really call him that or not. He is in the Baseball Hall of Fame, but he was also a New York City volunteer firefighter. He worked by day uh, on Wall Street. He worked for uh, brokerages. But at night, he would go play baseball with his buddies. So he and his buddies were volunteer firefighters there in New York City, in Manhattan. He was with uh, the Oceana Hose Company, number 36, and he was later with the Knickerbocker Engine Company, number 12. And he was with a baseball club early on called the Gotham Baseball Club. But later, he was one of the co-founders of the Knickerbocker Baseball Club. So it was probably named after the company that he was with there, the fire company that he was with there in Manhattan. Let's take a look at the world that he would have inhabited in those days. So, here are some prints by the great New York printmakers, Courier and Ives, and this shows the world that Mr. Cartwright would have known, and they're probably pretty accurate because Nathaniel Courier was a New York City firefighter. He gave himself a cameo showing up late here in this first print. But this is what his world would have looked like. But a lot of these guys also love to play baseball in their downtime. And Mr. Cartwright was one of them. And they eventually founded these organized clubs. And in June of 1846 was the first, work. it wasn't the first game by a long shot. They'd been playing for decades. But the first clearly recorded organized baseball game took place at Elysian Fields in Hoboken, New Jersey and it was with uh, the Knickerbocker Baseball Club and with Mr. Cartwright on it. And so, as you can see, it to some extent, that almost grew out of firefighter culture. At least you, you can probably argue that that was part of what baseball did. We want to bring this back, though, to what's going on right now, which is the Diamondbacks are in the World Series, and we got a little special deal going on in honor of the Diamondbacks being in the World Series, which is... Uh, I mean, it's great to become a member here at the Hall of Flame anyway, but when you become a helmet level member while the series is going on, we're going to give you a little something extra. We're going to give you a baseball, but this baseball is signed by firefighters. It's going to be signed by firefighters, just a little extra perk in memory of this great time. Uh, membership is a great deal in any case. Uh, you, and when you're helmet level or higher, that's a hundred bucks or higher level member. You get lots of free passes. And so there's lots of great benefits to becoming a member here at the Hall of Flame. And you're also benefiting us, which we really appreciate it. But for that little short period of time, you also get a baseball. So come on in. And go D-backs!